Microbiocellulose project is a material-oriented bioecological urban design research. It aims to propose a long-term urban waste recycle strategy and reorganize the urban landscape network. In the first chapter, this project shows London as a research object and uses data manipulation methodology to analyze urban issues. There are three steps collection, integration, and illustration. Raw data is collected and then integrated into an Excel document and finally illustrated into maps by digital tools. Then we choose microbiocellulose, which is a kind of self-growing and biodegradable fiber. Research begins from material experiment. The first step is to produce microbiocellulose in the lab. It's a fermentation process. Bacteria will convert sugar into cellulose after four days, it grows a layer of thin film in the liquid. The next is organic waste experiment, which used purple cabbage instead of sugar to cultivate cellulose, and also we tried pineapple and kiwi. This experiment proves that organic waste can be used to produce microbial cellulose. This is Astovector Exelenum, which can create pure cellulose material. The third step is to engineer the bacteria to produce cellulose with different characteristics. The second chapter is to build the material system. The biggest challenge is how to build a 3D structure from this soft thin film. Considering its property, there are two points. It should be hard, and it should be able to memory the shape. The material system explores four techniques to achieve self-supporting system. The first technique is dehydration. According to the experiment, microbial cellulose can become hard by dehydration. So we develop the second technique, staging. We use NOS to control the wrinkled behavior of cellulose and form patterns. Then, in order to get a precise shape, this project explored to use robot arm to fold a 3D unit by a piece of cellulose. However, because of the property, the robot arm only work on paper. So we fold it manually and start to combine them together. However, the structure is still small. Therefore, we develop a stretching technique. We design the mold and put cellulose film on it. Cellulose film will shrink when it's dried and keep the shape of the mold finally. By stretching technique, this project can build any shape and any size with microbial cellulose film. In the last chapter, the project developed the material system into a bigger structure and built an urban prototype. The functions can be urban landscape, emergency food farm, and material factory. And then, we developed the structure form according to the human spatial demands. We grouped the people into the old, adult, children, and also have three special groups, homeless people, street artists, and peddlers. This interface helps people to choose what prototype and what place to build. Finally, this project proposed a self-proliferated community, which is an urban waste digestive organ system. Most importantly, community morphology growth is a dynamic process. All communities can use waste to produce cellulose, and then the material can be used to build the next structure. With time, the waste is digested and the community grows bigger, influencing the environment and the people's behaviors with the use of different spatial prototypes. In the future, this community will become a real-time feedback that the microorganisms give to the city.